What is up guys, Rick Hackus here, and today we're opening some supply drops. Now we're opening 15 common supply drops and one rare supply drop. Now the rare supply drop, um, I purchased that, that was my very first ever supply drop because I'm a Mass Effect player, and I assumed that the more expensive supply drop would get you also a better chance of getting uh, legendaries and uh, epics, and turns out that isn't the case. Turns out that apparently the drop rates between common and and the rare supply drops are the exact same when it comes to the rarest items uh, like epics and legendaries. So you should pretty much always buy the common supply drops. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, all of these were recorded, all these openings were recorded beforehand. This is not going to be a live opening. So if you guys want some totally not overacted commentary, uh, it would sound something like this. How the fuck am I getting commons every time? Thanks, Treyarch. Thank you so much, Treyarch. Oh, please. Oh, another comment. I am so happy that I got another comment. Thanks. Oh, oh, another one. Oh, all three. Oh, thanks, Treyarch. Oh, you're my best friend, Treyarch. Goddamn best fucking friend in the world. That's what, it was, <laughs> that's what it would sound like, frankly, because this is the worst loot I've ever seen. In any event, instead of just uh, going over some overreactions, what we're actually going to do is we're going to open these supply jobs for science. At the end of the supply job openings, we're going to go over the actual numbers. We're going to crunch the numbers and try to find out what the chances are, what the actual uh, you know loot drop rates are. So stay tuned for that. Now I want to also mention that I kind of like these supply jobs. It's weird because I guarantee they're going to end up microtransactions. Activision always does this where at the beginning uh, you can't buy them but then suddenly they sneak it into like a DLC or something where suddenly you can buy crypto keys. However, again, I kind of don't mind these because they're all purely aesthetic. It's not like Advanced Warfare where if you didn't get, you know, the epic versions of the gun you were actually at a disadvantage in terms of you know the damage dealt or the range or whatever uh, for your weapons so I don't mind these Black Ops 3 uh, you know supply jobs because again they're purely aesthetic it's just camos and stuff and it gives you something to work for and I really like how the epic camos are usually actually pretty epic and legendaries as well like you can tell if someone's using an epic camo usually because it's just so outrageous and moves usually it's just really fantastic so I like that Treyarch put in the effort to make these camos worth going after it is kind of annoying though that you have to like get uh, ice camo for example which is an epic camo like you know for every single gun you know it's kind of annoying that you can't just unlock ice camo period and then put it on whatever gun but that's like guess you know the tactic they use to make us keep going. I also think it's funny that you guys are seeing that I get complete shit loot for 99% of the time. So it's not just you, it's your boy Kakas here. I'm also unlucky as hell when it comes to these supply jobs, honestly. Holy mackerel. So, um, you'll see by the way, I finally, at the 15th supply job, and that seriously was my last one at the time, I finally got an epic camo. It was war torn uh, for the Vesper or the Vector, the Vesper. And I was like, yes, finally, I can be one of the cool kids running around with these epic camos that move and then people will respect me and no longer will people corner camp me and everything's gonna change from this point forward. I'm gonna get a better connection. Like, it's gonna be amazing. Turns out, war torn doesn't almost doesn't move at all and turns out even more turns out fucking fuck that the Vesper is probably the worst gun to show off this kind of epic camo like you can't see it at all it looks so late it looks like I dropped my Vesper in dirt and then just picked it up but any in any event like you can see the the little red specks or the orange specks can they kind of uh, pulsate what, they kind of glow, and and that that's that's it, really. I mean, <laughs> like that, that's seriously, that's all the camo is, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, there you go. Let's move on to the actual drop rate. So I've calculated the drop rates. Uh, Fifteen supply. We're not counting the rare supply drop because that throws off the numbers. We're just uh, calculating it for the common supply drops. So for the common supply drops, fifteen open, three items apiece, which is forty-five items opened. Now I got four rare items, which means that every time you get an item from a supply drop, you have an 8.9% chance of getting a rare. 
Now moving on, I actually only got one legendary and one epic, so both of those have a 2.2% chance of being their respective selves every time you get an item. Remember, this is every time you get an item, not every time you open an entire supply drop of three items. So those are the chances to get those items based upon my results and my small sample size. What I'm going to do in the future is I'm going to have, you know, more supply drop openings later down the line and we're always going to add to these numbers. So the more supply drops I do, we're going to get more and more accurate numbers and try to figure out the exact drop rates of these items. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please remember to rate and share this video and if you want to see more Black Ops 3 content and want to see more of these supply drop opening videos for science along the line don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button now if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity the best way is to follow me on twitter that's linked in the description below as is my twitch channel which you can follow as well again i hope you enjoyed the video and as always have a good day we need to make it to round 12. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to go um, unplug my scuff controller, get my control freaks out, get in my DXR gaming chair, and um, anything else that makes me a better <laughs> player. I've got to go do that real quick. Oh, oh, yes, I need to go get my tub of G fuel. I have the pineapple flavor. <laughs> oh, my God.